And just like that, he's back to sleeping. Mm -hmm. I like this song. Do you? Oh, yeah. Another uh, Ocarina reference. Or really just N64. Yeah, it's general N64. Huh. Uh, I do not have enough Ember Seeds for this, I think. Thanks, Maple. Thanks, Maple. I hope next time we find you, we'll get to take your Ember Seeds. Meh. Oh, hello. Oh! A temple, like, fell into Sabrosia. Um, what's a temple? Sabrosia is a secret place. I must return in secret without being seen. Well, way to announce it to the entire universe there, lady. Yeah. <laughs> Just, what an interesting figure. Mm-hmm. And now a miniature stealth segment, which is honestly tolerable. This is really easy. But you have to wait for her on every screen. Oh, gosh, yeah. And she can fake you out, too. Which is such a, so mean. I usually just hide in a corner until she goes away. You just have to be careful, though. Yeah, sometimes things like that can happen. It's also the fact that I don't know if she'll... Because I forget if, like, when she leaves, she'll return one more time to... Yes! Yeah! God dang you! Well, let's see where she's going. Hmm. She's walking on the grass. What could this be? A great more portals to teleport from! Where on earth are we now? No kidding. You guys look pretty sweet, though. Also, we don't have rupees here. Oh, yeah. Our currency's different. What in the hay? Well, this place is full of lava. This guy's got a boomerang. He's having some fun. I don't want that boomerang. You need ore chunks. Ore chunks. Also, I just realized those trees are right out of Link to the Past. Yes, they are. You saw them in the Dark World... Uh, that's not good. Not good at all. And there's volcanoes, there's lava everywhere. It, it almost seems like we're underground. Yeah, I mean, if anything, being close to this lava, I'm sorry I'm not being baked alive. Well, you know how it is. Yeah. The only game that I ever got that right was the... Oh. This appears to be the Temple of Seasons. We were told to come here. We're finally here? Do you like spring or summer? Fall, perhaps? But no, you must love winter! I kind of like fall and spring. I like summer the not... best. It's completely overpowered. <laughs> you know what I mean. Mm-hmm. <laughs> So now here's the uh, central mechanic of Oracle of Seasons, the Rod of Seasons. That didn't take long to get at all. Not at all. We had to wait until, like, level 2 for the Harp of Ages. I said, we're just diving right in. And you know what? I kind of dig that. Mm-hmm. Always check behind the waterfall. Aha! My instinct has paid off. I didn't even think of that. But what is this mythical place? I have no idea. There's absolutely nothing here. But maybe something will be here later. Ooh, alrighty. Well, I can't wait to see what that powerful rod of yours can do. Can you use it? Indeed, it is equipped and swung. Huh. It will not do much quite yet, however. We need to power it up with the power of the four seasonal spirits, and we can actually only access the winter tower at the moment. Oh, dear. Hmm. Uh... Well, actually, there is a way to deal with that. Oh, yeah. I almost thought you needed another item to get in here, but I suppose we can pick that up later. Ah, uh, explosive devices. 
Never leave home without him. Oh, hey, Navi. Child of the Crested Hand. Well, that's certainly elaborate. <laughs> the spirit of winter on the rod you hold. Now we have the power of glitched lasers, and I'm I'm done with the Toho jokes. I'm sorry. <laughs> I dug them for I dug them. You only get it because you watched that speed run I did. <laughs> yep. Plus with a wintry chill. Climb atop a stump to call forth winter. So yes. A the uh, central gimmick of Oracle of Seasons is manipulating the seasons. Now we can change it to winter as long as we have a stump. Huh. Interesting. New roads will surely open with its power. I dreamt of woods in the east. There may be an essence there. So, instead of feeling the essences, he can only dream of them. Well, prophetic dreams, it's common. Yeah, but those usually are very bad omens in the Zelda series. Well, I don't think there's a lot to uh, do in Sabrosia right now. I'll check up on one more thing. <laughs> oh, so the volcanoes have only been acting up because of the temple. Good to know. Uh, uh, are you guys bathing in lava? How do you... I mean... Maybe you guys can survive, but how the hell are your clothes not catching on fire? Maybe this is just, like, some kind of not lava? I mean, if they're not lava, can you take a dip? Would you be okay? I'm not gonna try it, I think. No. Oh. <laughs> it's dancing time! Okay, so you can do it for free. You don't need ore chunks. No, yeah. Also, I, despite all my hassling, I love this. Yeah, this is a much better dancing minigame. This is actually fun. Sure are making it easy on me, though. <laughs> Oh, now it's getting faster. You're pretty good. <laughs> the boomerang! That's where it was. Ah, uh, uh, sweet, the most powerful weapon in the game! Oh, wait, I already made this joke. You've done this joke already, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, that's what I thought you needed to use on the crystal switch. Good thing bombs work too. Oh, but I believe I like that's that. all we need right now. Alright, well, we at least got some good items. Like, we already have four items with... Dude. It's him again. Okay. You I was going to imagine because you were on the stump. Dude, we know how this works already. Yeah, we already went through time. You think we can't manipulate seasons? Find other entrances, find ways of getting into the towers, etc. We know how this goes. Yeah, you know, the other game, it was the fact that the world self is shifting. In this case, it's more we're ha having to experience different, essentially two separate realms. So as you see, now that the season is winter, water freezes, allowing us to walk on it. Uh, some trees will be decayed, and there's a lot of snow, which could either block paths or create new ones, etc. Uh, that's how it'd be. Mm-hmm. And spring. No, summer. Yep, and like likes oh Oh of all the things. Well you don't have I don't have a shield. <laughs> yeah. You're you'll be fine. Mm-hmm. Oh. So I wouldn't recommend getting hugged by pancakes. <laughs> I don't think we can get through there without being able to swim. It, being winter nope. outside isn't going to save you from having to swim inside, unfortunately. And also, unfortunately for Link, he left his flippers at home. Santa, welcome. What? 
Santa canonically exists. All Santa right. canonically exists in the Zelda universe. Well, that means only one thing, right? Change it to we, winter. Uh, oh, look, there's... We do have a... We're not Santa, but we're one of his elves. Everyone's an elf in this universe. <laughs> so, we got labor! So you're, you're gonna let us keep the shovel, huh? Well, um... Yeah. Oh, look, the boomerang is level one, huh? Ooh. This is what I like doing. <laughs> sort of. Not really. You never know where you're gonna hit that jackpot. Mm-hmm. Also, fall. I really, really want to get some ember seeds, though. It's kind of uncomfortable that we don't have too many right now. Mm-hmm. We already have our first roll of items filled. Yeah, that was pretty fast. See? This game just wants to get you into the action as quickly as possible. Well, I dig it. <laughs> oh, you want me to use the shovel? Okay. No! <laughs> uh, let's see here. Ah. We're supposed to go to the right. Oh, yeah. It's kind of funny. Like, the probably can't have made, felt more like a This feels almost homey in a way. Oh, hey, Mystery Seeds. I'm not going to feed Mr. Owl this time. He probably says the same thing as before. Probably. I guess it really helps that this game just has a whole bunch of... Yeah, dig that stump. Dig the stump! <laughs> Probably helps that this game has a lot more feel of, like, the older Zelda games. What the? Oh, hey. There's a man named Tingle on the edge of Lena Village who thinks he's a fairy. Tingle? Okay. I, you want us to I take forgot he was here, too. Oh, he's oh. not in Seasons, but he's in Ages. Oh, that's going to happen to me a lot, I can tell. Well, we apparently need to talk to him again, and hey, uh, it looks like the dungeon is ready for us already. Level 2, wow. The Snake's Remains. That's kind of spooky. Uh... uh... <laughs> how, well, how did I run out of Ember Seeds? Because... Maple stole them all. Maple stole Gosh, them all. Yeah, they just went straight into the water. Uh, fuck. I just... Is this a randomizer all of a sudden? <laughs> oh, man. An, a randomizer of this game has got to be weird. Anyways, ropes. Oh, hello, ropes. You have a big smile in this game. Mm-hmm. The only thing missing from this game is the lamp oil. <laughs> Imagine if they do make an enemy named after that. Lamp oil? Well, uh, I guess it depends, because like, there are bomb-based enemies in the in the series, and there's literally the snake's name Rope, but there's no lamp oil enemies. Okay, I literally can't progress without Ember Seeds. This has never happened to me in my life. Oh, this is ridiculous. Okay, there's there's some. Thank you. Now let's see the intro again. Uh-huh. <laughs> So, Snake's Remains, uh, we haven't found the map yet, so I can't really compare the, the size of it quite yet. Hmm, what do you think <laughs> this is indicating? As an Isaac player, I can tell you it means absolutely nothing. No, no, I feel like we should, like, do something with it. Uh, sure. Oh, what a I surprise. Like oh, wow. Whoa. So you ever seen one of those uh, rupee caches in Zelda 1, hidden behind a bubble wall? Well, I don't see any sign that talks about Chris Houlihan, so I don't know what you mean. Oh, right. Chris Houlihan. <laughs> Oops. Also, I only say that because that's the funniest thing in Isaac, is there's a room that actually has that exact layout, but it's always wrong. Always wrong? Oh, you mean it, like it, it never points towards the bombable wall? Yeah. 
<laughs> it's such a massive troll, and I love it. Oh, these guys are annoying, though. Though, who in the world is Chris Houlihan in the first place? All we know is that they had one, like, some kind of... Tr they had one... No! I th they won some kind of contest for... Uh, Nintendo Power, and that's how they got their name in Link to the in Link to the Past. But they've never been officially uh, identified. Oh, hey, the dungeon item. It's the power bracelet. Yay, croissants! And it is not level one this time. It has no level. Oh. Well, I guess that means we just have this. We're not getting the power glove. Shame. I love the power glove. It's so bad. It's so bad. <laughs> There's the map. I think the contest for Chris Houlihan was okay. getting a picture of the war mech in Final Fantasy 1, but I can't quite remember. It should have been a picture of him beating war mech. <laughs> no kidding. Anyways, the, oh. the, the map shape is not exactly like a crescent moon, so they're not going that far with the Zelda 1 references. Wasn't there a um, level, though, that's based on, that had the shape of a snake? Oh, 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 that, that, that thing hurts. That thing hurts. Yeah, those, those guys do hurt. It's like, correct me, wasn't there, like, a dungeon Zelda 1 that looked like a giant serpent? There was a lizard head dungeon. That's what I was thinking. These things are weird. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna try and get some hearts. Oh! No, oh, don't lose to the keys. We already had to avoid so many ropes. Can you imagine dying in level 2? I can. Yeah, by the way, careful. These things can't crush you. Oh, hey. Oh, thanks. Well, that does open up a kind of shortcut, so that is pretty nice. Let's see what's here. I don't feel bad about having to go outside the dungeon anymore. Oh, uh, yeah. It's kind of like a mini, like, Skullwoods dungeon. I kind of dig that. Yeah. Oh, hey, a business scrub. Oh. Sorry we almost cut off your hairdo. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see here. Uh, I guess I don't really need bombs. Or do I? <laughs> <laughs> That's why he's there. Uh, I forgot. I know there's a saying for it. Go somewhere where you know people are going to want what you're selling. Mm -hmm. Or even better, create problem, sell solution. Oh, yeah. <laughs> are you telling me the Deku Scrub is the one who planted these here? I wouldn't be surprised. Eh, they can be kind of jerks like that. Are you kidding me? Okay, you want to play like that? You are doing this on purpose, aren't you, Deku Scrub? Okay, we gotta move it, move it, move it. Alright. Well, at least we know the shortest possible way, just... Who would have thought that this chest was timed? I certainly would have. Or wouldn't have. Uh, is there, like, a quicker way through? Uh, I don't see it. I think you're going the fastest possible. We just kind of took our time last time. Yeah. All right. Yeah, there we go. Okay, got it. That was pretty amusing, though. <laughs> oh, my God. That was ridiculous. I like it. I will entertain the business scrubs ideas and get some more bombs before I go, just in case. I Wait, I think you can only carry 10, though. Yeah. Alright. Let's see, do we want to actually backtrack to the start? No, uh, maybe not. Not quite. Yeah, I actually am wondering about that one room. That we missed. So, come on. Thank you. You don't mind us. I guess it is right here. Yeah. Or is it? Oh, no, it's just north. Okay, ropes. 
Oh, yeah. You, you destroy oh. all the enemies, then push the block. Okay, compass. That was so worth the time. Yay. Eh, ropes aren't bad. They got that big smile. They, they look so friendly, and then they try to strangle you. That's how most snakes are, I usually. Fortunately, because I like snakes. But not on a plane, right? <laughs> okay, that's the second time I've heard that movie be referenced today. What was the first time? Uh, when, uh... It was when I was watching a playthrough and they re the, the term Caduceus is a thing in that playthrough, and one of the levels was a joke about that called Caduceus on a plane. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing, I first heard the reference in Mega Man Legends Abridged. Wait, what? That exists. Why have I never heard of this till now? Also Thwomps. It was not it was not very much viral, like some other abridged series were. Oh, that's kind of a shame. Yeah, the production value on it was amazing, too. Yeah, I kind of want to see it now that I What is it. this? This is really a randomizer now. <laughs> Alright, so when are we going to get the Master Sword from the final boss? Do you have to, like, hold... Yeah, you actually have to hold the bracelet button for this. Oh. Oh. Also careful. Okay, we haven't had the mini boss yet. Hey, hey, speaking of. Oh, hey, look who it is. You're gonna be in my nightmares, I swear. Yeah, uh, you're just walking around and suddenly there's a giant face on the floor. That's gonna leave a mark. Yeah. God. I think we're gonna try to go sailing after this. Mm hmm. Sailing back to Hyrule, probably. Oh, Lord. Oh yeah, this is a trick he had in Link's Awakening, but it it wasn't as threatening. I mean, there were there were less holes because the room was smaller. Anyway, that's kind of the fun. Yeah, that's kind of funny thing we think about it. In our nightmares, this thing is actually weaker. <laughs> of course, according to timelines, I think Link's Awakening actually took place before the Oracle games. But I hate that. I prefer Link's Awakening after the Oracle games. Like, uh, it's hard to say, because, yeah, I can't tell if they would have them before or after. Doesn't it make sense after? Oh. Oh, hey, look. We don't exactly have a musical interest instrument this time, though. So, uh, bombs away. Hey, they're explosive and loud. Ah, uh, Paul's voice. I kind of wish you guys would appear in more Zelda games. Though, you guys have also had some very weird appearances in other Zelda games. True. Huh. See, I think in, cause I think in Link's Awakening they made them like cute little like hopping bunny monsters. Whereas in Phantom Hourglass they're just giant bunny shaped monsters with giant mouths under them. <laughs> weird, dude. That sounds terrifying. Anyway, the boss door is there, so we'll come back later. But we have a key. Oh, it's not the right key. Yeah, the one time it actually matters what door you are trying to use a key on. Huh. Surprising. You actually have to use it on that block. Alright, oh wait. I've... My war is across again. No, the magic card does not affect those, uh... Whatever they're called, because there's, I swear there's like, all three variants of them are here, and I don't know what any of them are. Anti fairies or whatever. I know, but like, no wait. There's the anti fairies. There's bubbles, and then whatever the skull guys are. Skull bubbles. Let's just put it that way. Yeah. There's your boss key. Okay, so this is uh, really easy. Like, I don't even need to do any of the turnstile stuff. Huh? Why that is there a turnstile there? It's completely useless. I was about to say, like, huh? Because it just makes this part... No, if you go there, yeah. Why? Strange. 
Eh, whatever. At least it wasn't a pain in the neck. It really wasn't. So who do you Dang. think the second boss is going to be? Let's see, we need the power bracelet. So I'm going to guess some weird clown guy that lives in a pot. Uh, uh, sounds... No, not really. Uh, you're thinking of the wrong game. I can't <laughs> wait to bomb <laughs> some Dodongos! Oh, thank goodness it's not Dimitri. Maybe this is like Dimitri's dad and we're actually killing his family. Uh-oh. Uh oh, he's breathing fire, okay. <laughs> That's how. Ow. Whoa. He didn't like that. You just lift him while he's, uh, bloated. And usually they blow up on the inside when that happens. This dong goes pretty dang tough. Mm-hmm. So not exactly the most riveting boss battle, but then again, what do you expect with a Dodongo? That face, though. Mm-hmm. <laughs> How is it that Dodongo's always been oddly derpy, no matter what they've done? Wow, that was really easy. Yeah, you know, Zelda 1 bosses were not very hard either, so maybe, like, that's, uh... Like, in character for what's supposed to be a Zelda 1 remake. The, hey, the Phantom Hourglass! The Phantom Hourglass, yes! Seeds sprout <laughs> as seasons change with the gift of time. Why isn't wait this... A wait, wait, we just played what? the the game about time. And now there's an hourglass here? What? Isn't there also, like, some... I'm confused. The gift of time. Okay, fine. Spool Swamp out west. Something is afoot there, but I can see no more. Hmm. Alright. Hang on, real blazing through. We already got through the first two dungeons like nothing. I There's really, really don't want to see anything fall into the... Okay, good. Oh. Yes, we're gonna lose our bombs. Whatever, we can get those bombs back. Oh, way to I go after, more... like, the wrong, like pile of treasure. What are you going- oh. Ah, oh, fairy fountain. Huh, maybe we could have needed it. Mm-hmm. Is there anywhere else we can go here? Uh, because he said that Spool Swamp, which if we remember, it's just north of our starting area. True. Although I do need There's... to find my way out of here first. I guess that means I need to uh, change it to winter. And not double click. Let there be winter. Let the winds of war bring snow. <laughs> uh... I love Advance Wars. <laughs> this reminds me I have to play a lot more. Oh, you should. There's a lot of games I have. <laughs> Gosh, over my stream last time, I was talking to a friend of mine who has been trying to ask me to play like a lot of games, and when I told him all the games I wasn't playing, he's like, what the hell are you doing? I guess there's just nothing there. Huh. Waste of my nope. ember seeds. Oh, look at that, a path. Let's just jam to this music for a little bit. Oh, actually, did I not see something up here? Yes, I did. Oh yeah, we couldn't do anything here last time. So the top two are duds, so... Oh yeah. Just burn the bottom three, let's see what we get. <laughs> <laughs> I did not know you could do that. Okay, so there's uh, nothing there. I don't think we burned that corner one last time, either. Why am I gonna be that guy that's trying to think of, like, the entomology of a like like Oh, hey. Oh, hey. I guess that's worth a note. That would also mean our other seed's probably fully grown by now. True, we should check on it. 
Oh, hey, I've killed so many enemies. Here she is again. Don't take you my really... ember seeds. There is nothing to fall here. Oh, my goodness. Just get it now. I got the maple heart. Okay. Get ready to go. And I got the magic potion. You can keep your dang ring. We we already got everything we need from you for your ring. <laughs> we don't need your ring anymore. I'm mad. I'm... I'm- I'm twice as mad. I am very mad right now! I ran into her so many times in ages and she would just not give me- give it to me. And now I've got it and I don't know how to feel. On top of that, one of the bushels of grasses yet cut gives you the god dang ember seed right away too. Alright, I need- I, I owe the audience some explanations because I'm probably editing things out. This tree- SUDDENLY ah! HAS EMPER SEEDS! <laughs> I shouldn't scream. Okay, you, you have to believe me. I went onto the screen in every season and it did not have ember seeds. Suddenly it has them in the winter. It, 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 I, please, please, please tell me you're at least going to show Maple, please. Yes, I am. I have, oh, to, I have to show that. Oh my lord. This game is out to break us, I swear to god. Okay, on this screen, those mushrooms, for whatever reason, will only let you lift them in autumn. There are there are 20 rupees in that chest. It's really stupid. Like, why would you hide that chest just to put 20 rupees in it? I swear to god, they're... I know they're, like, called rock mushrooms or something, whatever. This is... <sighs> this is... This is funny for the people, but it's also a really bad sign for me. What is my luck going to look like? Is it because I'm here? No, of course not. I don't mean that in a negative way. I know for a fact that my luck causes the weirdest things to happen in games. You bring good luck. I bring bad luck. So really, we're, we're, we're canceling it out somewhat. Uh... What else? What was I looking at? Did I did I want to burn any other bushes? I think there was. There was also the Gasha seed. I think we had to check on as well. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, where where was it? It's north because it's like near close to the first dungeon. Oh yes, it is. It, oh hi, Impa. You got something to say? Bird. The... Zelda has left the castle in Hyrule without any guard and is on her way here. W what is she? Why? Homing pigeon? Look in town, look up north. Zelda, why do you think this is a good idea? I don't know. Oh, a ring. Oh. Oops. Ooh. <laughs> Is there is there ember seeds now? No, there isn't. Yeah. Uh, it's apparently only in winter. That's the only season I did not check. Go figure. Oh my god. Hey, Wait, it's what? the moblin ring. We can turn into moblins now. I guess that can be handy. Maybe. I I, I, mean, I don't actually have a ring on me, do I? The seasons change when you're in the damn shop. Oh, they do? It looked like it. Go figure. There it is. We have two. Oh, no, I guess not. I thought they did. <sighs> so, uh, I think I need a break after that. So, as usual, I'm gonna save in front of the Maku tree. Sounds like a plan. And that will be it for the first session of The Legend of Zelda Oracle of Seasons. Next time, we'll find out what happened to Zelda and why she decided to recklessly leave the castle with no guard. Oh, my lord. Why would you do that? Well, that'll be for next time. Uh, for now, I'm Ephraim225, and with me, as always, has been... April gave us all of her drops in the first encounter... No, in the third encounter. What the heck? I don't know, man. But we'll be back with more Oracle of Seasons. It's sure to be exciting. Because we're having a pretty good time, I would say, so far. Even though I am getting a little flabbergasted. <laughs> so, we'll see you next time, ladies and gentlemen.
<laughs> Y'all have a good night. Someone's having a good night right now. <laughs> you can wake him up whenever. <laughs>